What's going on eggheads? Welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Cody, also known as Codes. Or maybe you don't know me at all, because I'm not really that big of a deal. But I digress. In today's video, we're going to be playing The Sims 4. And if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm a little bit of a psychopath. Cause she loves danger, psychopath. Any good therapist worth their money will tell you that if you have feelings, the best thing you can do about those feelings is watch them burn. Okay, so if my mic is kind of loose. So, um, as you can see here, I am in The Sims 4 and I have this defaulted kind of character here. Now they look cool and all, but they look nothing like my ex. The first point of order, obviously, ginger. The funny thing about this ex, they're a ginger who's allergic to ginger. That should have been a red flag right from the start. Now your jawline was nothing like that, mister. Your jawline was nothing like that. Let me tell you right now, you had the worst jawline known to man. <laughs> so, we are going to immediately give you like zero semblance of a jawline. Thank you. Zero semblance of a jawline on this man. And that chin was certainly not that sharp. There we go. Thank you. You had zero semblance of a jawline. Now... You know, we'll give you the, um, prepubescent beard. There we go. Cool. Have yourself that little prepubescent fuzz that you got going on there. <laughs> nice. As for those eyebrows, let me just tell you, they were not like 2000s thin eyebrows. What the hell is that, bro? <laughs> you did not have those 2000s thin eyebrows and you didn't have a unibrow either. Different ex of mine did, but not this ex. <laughs> um, and they certainly were not that sharp. Trust me, you weren't that masculine, bro. <laughs> right, sure, that works well enough for me. Now that hairstyle was so not you. Uh, what's going on, eggheads? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> oh my god. Huge shout out to this um, ex's best friend who is actually a legit egghead by choice. Shout out to you. Fucking love that. Fucking love that. You know, I love it when someone just, like, shaves their head because hair is uncomfortable. Man, you, you go. You go, man. You go. That's epic. That's some, that's some god to your shit right there. You're like, hair? Never heard of her. I don't need her. I don't need her to live. You know what I mean? That's... That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Realizing what you really need. Whereas I realized what I really didn't need was this motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, eggheads? Now, that is the cleanest shave. That's like an alopecia-type bald. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say that? Is that, is that rude? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> Am I even allowed to say that shit? There. Cat boy. Hmm. Sure. Sure. There you go. Cat boy. Go ahead, cat boy. Fucking cat boy. I'm a motherfucking cat boy. Uh, 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 look what you done. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, now, um, in all honesty, um, clothes have literally only ever known you to wear black. <laughs> I say as I'm wearing black. Jesus Christ, Cody. Oh, he really did turn you into another one of them, didn't he? Alright. Would you wear a sweater that's just plain black? I don't think you would wear a sweater that's just plain black. I think you need something to it because you actually, believe it or not, actually had somewhat of a sense of style. Whoa, I know, right? Okay, what if we, um, some kind of anime shit like that? <laughs> I say sense of style, then I put the anime t-shirt. Nah, see, I'm thinking more like a band t-shirt type thing, you know what I mean? Gay. Gay, because you were very gay. No. <laughs> Oh, look. EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's not a scarf. It's an ascot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you understand the reference, I will literally love you forever. Pants. 
I'm pretty sure you've never heard of pants in the wild, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you would not be the type of person to go around without pants, because you were very, very, very asexual. So that leads me to believe that yes, um, you just need like, as much pants as one can pant. <laughs> is, that, is that even a, that's not even a sentence. But you, you know what I mean, right? Just needs to wear the most panty pants to ever be pants. <laughs> Tracksuit bottoms. Something like that, like, I don't know. Why am I even still acknowledging the fact that you exist? It was at this moment that CJ had an existential crisis. Just freaking sweats, bro. Just put on the sweats. If you're not wearing platform boots, I don't know what you're wearing, because honestly, like... <laughs> you short-ass motherfucker. <laughs> you short-ass motherfucker. So yeah, uh, you'll probably be wearing platform boots. But since platform boots really, like, aren't a thing, in this game, um, I have to pick something else, which, you know how hard that is to pick something else for someone who would really, like, only ever wear platform boots? Yeah, that shit's difficult. Um, you can kind of see this guy's whole style by now, right? Yeah, very much like, gothic, emo-centric kind of, very, like, 2000s looking guy. <laughs> I'm not saying I have a type. But all I'm saying is that all the guys I have ever dated have probably at least somewhat leaned into the whole aesthetic, so... The whole scene, if you will. Cut my life into pieces! This is my last resort! Suffocation! No breathing! Uh-huh. See, he agrees. He agrees that, yeah, um... It's just a thing with you, honestly. It's just your thing. A ring. Now, you've moved on a bit fast, haven't you? That's not allowed. Get out of here. <laughs> that ain't allowed. Look, I'm sorry. It would be dumb of me to not include, like, asexual fingernail paint. I mean, look, like, th this fingernail paint and the asexual flag color. That'd be fucking stupid of me to not include that. This man's literal entire identity revolved around the fact that they were asexual. I'm asexual. I don't go blurting it in people's faces 24-7. Oh yeah, um... Is that the best you I can make? Probably. Nope. That's, that's, that's the best you I can make. <laughs> that's the most accurate you I can make. At least. There we go. Now, um, your aspiration? Just not be a disappointment? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, Cody, you really went there. <laughs> you really went there. <laughs> you can tell there's a lot of bad blood coming. Cause baby, now we got bad uh, blood. Hey, I can't take it back. Look where I'm at. Uh. Now, they would have a deviance aspiration, wouldn't they? Freaking chief of mischief. Always looking for chaos, they were. So, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> but I'm not one to talk because I'm not either. <laughs> what were they though? Because they certainly weren't a bookworm. If you could get them to focus on one book for like, however long, like, I'm sorry, but like, you've just cured ADHD, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, um, I'm sorry, you're definitely a bit of an erratic person. Definitely. Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Does that make me crazy? Possibly. <laughs> evil. You were evil. You were evil. You were evil, but so am I, so... You know, I, I can't judge you on that one. You're evil, but so am I, so... It is what it is, you know? Oh. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. It is. <laughs> hate ch Yeah, 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 it, it does hate children. It does hate children. I doubt that's ch- <laughs> Now there's a can of worms I didn't want to open, but loyal? No. No, no, if you guys didn't know how this relationship ended, which I'm pretty sure you fucking don't, because I don't talk about this shit. Until now, obviously. <laughs> Loyal. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, we are calling you 
Non-committal. <laughs> Thank you very much. Non-committal. Erratic, lazy, people hates children, non-committal. And he's the chief of mischief. Okay, are we taking this a bit too far? Hi there, um, this is Editing Cody, just dropping in to say that, um, yes, maybe I did take this a little bit too far, but that was the point, right? Um, the point was to over-the-top exaggerate the negative traits of this person. That's not to say there wasn't good things about this person, because in order for me to have even wanted to have been with them for that almost a year there, yeah, you know, there would have had to have been some good things about them, and that there was. Clearly I saw something good in them, that I did. You're free to make your own inferences about this person. I'm not in control of how other people perceive another human being. At all. That's not my place. It's not my place to tell you how to feel about another human being. Only you can make that call. I'm just here to tell you that this was a very hyperbolic, exaggerated form of them that intentionally neglected to acknowledge any of the positive aspects of this person. That's all. <laughs> Just to make it easier to burn you alive. Dislikes cooking. Um, <laughs> you like jet. Mm. <laughs> no, we did have a lot of um, bee-related jokes in our relationship, and since bees were a big part of it, and in the bee movie, Seinfeld says, you like jazz. Even if he doesn't actually like jazz music, I have to include it just because of the bee jokes. I'm sorry. Take off all your preppy clothes. He ain't liking that shit. <laughs> I really just make a freaking Avril Lavigne reference there. You can bet your bottom dollar I did. <laughs> Alright, um, first name. We're obviously not going to use his real name. So you know what we're going to call him? Xavier, because it's the name he goes by on the internet. It's not his real name. Call him Xavier. Sure. <laughs> okay, um, and let's <laughs> lean into the German side of things. There you go, good Dusseldorf. <laughs> Dusseldorf, Xavier Dusseldorf. <laughs> Dusseldorf is actually a city in Germany. <laughs> but there you go. You're now named after um, the city of Dusseldorf. Which was probably also named after a person with the name Dusseldorf. I don't know German history. All I know is that's a city in Germany. So we're calling it Dusseldorf. Oh, and do you know what we're doing? We gotta give you, like... You go by he, they. Um, we'll use they, them for you. There you go. Cool. So they exist. I uh, wouldn't be an accurate representation of them, of course. If we did... <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Um, anyways, as I was saying, it wouldn't be an accurate, a 100% accurate reputation. Reputation? That's a Taylor Swift album. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be an accurate representation of them if we didn't bring out the Lederhosen. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just had to. Um, most accurate representation I could make of the person who, um... <clears throat> cheated on me. Yeah, set it out in the open. There you go. <laughs> gonna just plonk him down in Windenburg. I mean, come on. Like, you can't tell me that's not perfect. <laughs> Freaking Windenburg, bro. Unfurnished, we'll put the oven in ourselves alongside other very flammable things. <laughs> so of course we go straight into build mode because what else would we do, right? Now we want one room for all of this um, flammable stuff and that's gonna be this room. I will replace all the windows with like wide open glass fixtures. Cause I mean like, <laughs> who doesn't wanna watch someone burn alive from the street? Am I right? Or am I right? I hate to say it, but I do honestly think that um, he would be proud of the chaotic person I have become without him. You know what I mean? Like, even if, like, you know, even if he fucking hates my guts now, I feel like he would still be like, ah, yes, the student has become the master kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like he'd fucking hate what I'm doing here. <laughs> it's not like he wasn't, um, extremely suicidal to begin with. I'm not giving him nice fixtures, no. 
This place is gonna be fucking dirty. <laughs> I'm not giving him nice things. You know, like I'll give him a credit credit where credit's due, but I won't give him nice things. Yeah. No nice things for you. The only nice things you get is an open view of the outside oven. Used oven, of course. You're gonna need a countertop. You think I'm going to give you a nice countertop? You're out of your mind. Alright, um... And you are, unfortunately, going to need a fridge. Ugh. Fine. Refrigerator. Gonna give you a sink to clean up? Uh, no. You have ADHD. It's not like you do the dishes anyway. Let's be real. <laughs> Damn. I really just went there. Alright, smoke alarm. <laughs> no, there will be no smoke alarms in this house. Yeah, good. Um, okay, now, um, rugs, please. We need a rug. Get a rug. A bunch of rugs. <laughs> One there. Mm -hmm. Just fill the whole floor with rugs because they're like extremely flammable and shit. There you go. Just fill the whole floor with the rugs because of how flammable they are. And then, because of that, plonk down a fireplace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Fireplace. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Best way to get a fire started inside with a grill. Yeah, see, we have to do the grill. Let's get an outdoor grill. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, mate, throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> what the hell, Cody? Alright, um, I really am leaning into that stereotypical Australian right now, aren't I? We've done those cheats. We can maybe go in here and we'll see a bunch of things that we couldn't see before. Yeah, see, we've already got all the fabricated beds in here. Nice. De boog. De bussy. <laughs> De bussy. <laughs> if you know, you know. De bussy. Want the ones from uh, City Living, so we can have like the fireworks and stuff. Yeah. What if it's a coffee? You want a coffee? I'll give him a trash pile. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, yeah. You know what? You're trash. Have a pile of it. <laughs> wow. Nice firework. Ooh, firework. Oh boy, so many fireworks. It's like a Katy Perry song up in here. Teleport your butt in here? Yeah, thank you. And then, there will be no door. You are stuck in this room with a bunch of things that will surely kill you. Let there be light! Ah, it's already happening! Already! Already! I couldn't have asked for better! Oh man! <laughs> Time to meet your maker! Yes! Yes! Die! Die! Die, Xavier, die! <laughs> it's getting worse, you're gonna die! Somebody get the Grim Reaper on speed dial! <laughs> oh! <laughs> now if this isn't healing my trauma, I don't know what is. <laughs> Therapists, y'all don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I 
I am so mean. Death by fire. <gasps> oh yes. Oh yes! <laughs> Thank you very much, Daddy Death. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy Death. Why'd I call him Daddy Death? <laughs> Anyways, yes, Daddy Death. Daddy Death is doing his job. <gasps> Work it, Daddy. <laughs> This is so freaking hilarious. All right. Yes. Work it, daddy. Yes. Oh, the fire is still spreading, actually. You might want to get on with your job, actually. Um, I'm kind of done singing you praises now. Um, you might want to... Yep, whip out the scythe. Oh, yes, daddy death. Hit me with that big scythe of yours. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, I love that. Yes! Alright. Well, I don't know what more needs to be said. I'm a psychopath. <laughs> you know, maybe that's why this motherfucker fell in love with me in the first place. I'm crazy, but you like that. If you guys did enjoy today's video, uh, leave a like. Um, if you want to see more Sims get burnt alive, leave a like. If you would rather not see me be a psychopath in the future, leave a like. And it'll be up to me to determine which one of those things those likes represent. <laughs> That's totally a healthy way to do a democracy, isn't it? <laughs> Dislikes? Never heard of them. We don't see those. <laughs> Unless you got YouTube advanced. Don't tell YouTube I told you their secrets. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you for 200 subscribers, by the way. I don't think I've actually said anything about that yet, but holy shit, guys. 200 subscribers? Y'all are insane. <laughs> you realize y'all are insane. 200 subscribers. I love you guys. I love you guys. Like... Whether that means no homo or all the homo in the world, you decide. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Um... Bye, motherfucker.